Understanding what is the right tummy tuck for your individual case with Dr. Marco Fario Coria. Let's talk about the abdominal wall deformities after pregnancies. There are different situations. The redundant skin associated rectodiastasis, that's the gap in the muscle. The damaged skin by stretch mark, that the patient doesn't like that cosmetic appearance, want to remove the, the excessive skin or the damaged skin. And those that don't have uh, this excessive skin, redundant skin, stretch mark, and they don't want to have scars or they want to have as minimal as possible. Then, for those that have redundant skin, the so-called traditional classic abdominoplasty is the right method, that you remove that big piece of skin and repair the muscle at the same time, like in the diagram. Then, at the same time, uh, and the scar will be in the bikini line, and the scar tends to fade and give great result in those that need that kind of surgery. But for those that don't have redundant skin, no stretch mark, and just rect diastasis, we can repair using minimal incisions just through the C-section scar, if there is a previous C-section scar, or using minimally invasive methods like video endoscopy or robotics. Back to 1992, I introduced the video endoscopic method, so-called endoscopic abdominoplasty, for repairing the gap in the muscle, the core muscle, through this minimal incision. And more recently, 2015, I started using robotics, that a big revolution in surgery, the use of robotics. And in plastic surgery, the advantage is leaving really minimal scars, a part of the high precision, uh, uh, high definition. But don't be afraid about think of a robotic operating you. It's not the robotic that will do the operation. The robot is just a machine, a surgical machine, very high tech, 3D, high definition, eliminate all the tremors that the surgeon can have and make a, a, a very precise stitching under magnification that helps very much in uh, this method. But still the way of doing the repair is the same, just using different, of course, minimally invasive surgery, always bring that very well no advantages of shorter recovery, less risk of infection, less pain. And we have observed that it's true, comparing the open method and the minimal invasive method, the period that have to maintain the drains and so it's a bit shorter, stay in hospital shorter, and patient complain less about pain because it doesn't cut much skin. But again, it's not for all, it's for those that don't have redundant skin.